everybody. Um, our thought for the week this week is that Christ died so that we could have life. Now, with this pandemic, like a lot of people, I've had to put in a lot of extra work. And unfortunately, a lot of this extra work has been the one thing that I really despise with my job. And that is paperwork. I don't like doing it just to inform you. It's not fun, but it has to be done. And I feel that filling out so many of these forms and all of these risk assessments with everything that's going on at the moment, I really feel that I get down sometimes. <clears throat> I really feel that I get down sometimes. I feel that, um, that yeah, there's a, there's a lot to do. But the young people that I work with are at that age where they're all going out and they're finding part-time or full-time jobs. Uh, but they come to me and uh, they say, why do I like working so much? And I, my answer is always, number one, I love God and I love my job. That is always the first answer I give. And number two, I earn money. That's the reality of it. I earn money and when I spend that money and what I spend that money on, I then truly appreciate because I know what's gone in behind the scenes to earn that money, to earn that thing that I have bought or that experience or that holiday or whatever. I know what goes into earning that thing. But that's not the same with our eternity with God. Someone else suffered so that we could spend eternity with God in heaven. And his suffering wasn't non-suffering like mine, like paperwork. His suffering was real, his pain was real, and it was for us. Now, John 3, 16, very famous verse, you'll all know it. Romans 5, verse 8. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So as it says in Romans 12, verse 1, we need to present ourselves. We need to understand that we are doing what we do for a reason. We need to be thankful for, to Jesus for his sacrifice. And then when we feel that we are suffering with arduous tasks, we need to remember the reason behind what we're doing and to plow on and to move forward and to say, God, we're doing this for you and actually this suffering doesn't even come close to the suffering that your son did and, and went through for me. So when we get down, when I'm, when I'm doing my paperwork, I will be rejoicing and saying, this is nothing like what Jesus went through for me. I can do this. I can move through. I can progress because I'm doing this for God and I love you, God. And I want to say thank you to God for sacrificing his son for me. And if I can give back in any small way by doing this paperwork, by reaching out to these young people, then I will do that. So let's remember that this week. Thank you guys very much for listening. I hope you found this message inspiring. Please do stay safe and healthy. Thank you.